Hello and welcome back to my channel. Today let's just talk about the software scheme. Let's talk about the manufacturing. How can we create the G-Course for this prismatic part? This is the 2D part and right now I will be talking about the 2D milling. Let's get right into it. Before starting the video if you are new on my channel so make sure to subscribe to the channel to be a part of the conversation. Thank you. Let's click on the software scheme. If you don't find it in the tab mode, what you can do, you can click on the add in and just navigate it from here. The first thing which comes in mind is just to define the machine, whether you're working on milling, lathe, mill turn, or laser. I want to click on the machine and I just define the mill matrix and select it. In tool grab, I'll select the tool grab tool, select and click on other. And I want to hit OK. Once I click on auto, it means the was came will automatically detect the tools which will work probably to be machined this pocket. Next, I just want to be defined the coordinate system. And this is called the machine coordinate system. Sometimes we can call it as the machine zero. Right? So, I want to click on the source coordinate system or user defined. I just want to be put it on some here on this stock bounding box and I just want to put it on some here here and now I just want to orient the X axis is this one and the Z axis is this one but I just want to flip it around like this okay now it's it's just good enough for me and I'll just hit okay Okay, and next thing is just to define the stock. Sometimes we can call it the blank, the raw material, and I don't want to add any extra material to either side. If you if you want, you can add it, and I will hit OK. Now it's just taking the fixed size boning box, and then set up. What you can do is just to tell the machine in which direction the tool will come to cut the material, and I just define this x axis, which probably would be the z axis the tool will come and will cut the material and now I just want to extract the machinable features the feature which exists inside this part and I just want to extract this this time I have one feature which is the simple pocket and I want to generate the tool path regenerate uh, wh why this happens because uh, earlier I just created a tool path for this part so this is why and I want to generate the tool path right so now I have the roughing operation, re roughing, contour mill, right? So I have these three operations, right? So, and you're writing the operation plan, which operation will be done first, then the next one, and then the final one, which probably is the finishing operation. And once you're done with this, what you can do is just to click and simulate the part. And let me just load on the speed over here, and let me just click on play. As you can see over here. Now I didn't define any specific tool for this one. If you are unhappy with this, you can simply click on the certain program, and then what you can do, you can just create a tool and define the tool diameter is 20, and I want to just define it 10, and I want to hit OK. Right. And now once you click on the same way the tool path. And this time, you will probably see the diameter of the tool just reduced to 10 mm. And we'll just increase the speed so that you get the final product. And that's fine for me right now. Right, the final one is the finishing operation. Okay, if you just want to make certain changes inside any program, just double click on that. You can just check for the tool, the roughing just use certain changes inside this feature the operations and you can go to advanced and posting optimization okay you can just look for certain things over here as well but I think uh, this is enough for me right now because I'm happy I ju I'm just getting the final product so I don't need to, to make any certain changes within uh, this programs right it's always detected the proper tools for me and just generated the final product for me so I'm just happy with that what you can do you can either select the three programs combinedly with control key 
and just go for the simulate and this time you will see just this operation then this operation and finally you will be having the corner finish and bottom finish all this fine the next thing which comes in mind is just you can create the cutter location file as well but this time i don't want to be having this cutter location file i just want to be talking about the pass processor to create the g codes for for my machine right so this time the g codes will probably create for three axis metric mill because uh and you have to click on the tab file and i suppose this is my cam one and i just want to put it on my desktop and i'll say okay let me just run this and this g code will be generated make sure you run this otherwise your g code will not be generated and this is the cam one program right so this is how you can create the g codes for the prismatic part, 2D part, or planner mill, and you can just load this uh, program in the machine to manufacture your product, for your final product. Hope you enjoyed the tutorial, and make sure to subscribe to the channel uh, for learning the CAD CAM uh, softwares. Thanks for watching.